Good morning. And how is everybody doing? Great. To the Taiwanese group, I say welcome to St. Lucia. <laughs> okay, so um, we will start the, the ceremony this, with the exchange. Your Excellency Ambassador of Republic of China, Taiwan, Mr. Peter Chen, Head of Taiwan Delegation of the Youth Ambassador program, Ms. She Yong Wang, officers from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Taiwan, Youth Ambassador, Taiwan, Vice Principal of the South Louis Community College, academics, Dr. Winston Fulgens, Dean, Academic Partnership Internationalization, Mr. Kurt Harris, the unit heads, the D Digital Humanities, New Media and Creative Industry, Dr. Jani Joseph, the head of the units, Sustainable Tourism and Hospitality, Ms. Deodata Preville, Ministry officials, faculty, staff of South Louis Community College, and any and other specially invited guests. Welcome to the opening meet and greet ceremony of the Youth Ambassador Exchange Program hosted by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan, through the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, in St. Lucia, in collaboration with the government of St. Lucia, through the Academic Partnerships and Internization Unit, Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. The main purpose of the Youth Ambassador Program is to encourage the international engagement of Taiwan youth, foster cross-cultural understanding, promote global citizenship, and encourage young people from Taiwan to interact with people from the different countries or cultural backgrounds so as to develop a broader perspective of the world. The program plays a vital role in promoting intercultural understanding between Taiwan and St. Lucia, fostering personal growth and nurturing a generation of global citizens who are equipped to address the challenges and embrace the opportunities of an interconnected world. During the week of the 4th, of 4th to the 9th September, a group of 40 youth ambassadors from Taiwan selected through a competitive process based on their specialties, either language skills or talent in the areas of music, dance, or culinary skills, will be participating in a number of activities with the college's culinary and performing arts students. Also included in their schedule will be a courtesy visit to the government agencies, a youth forum where there will be an open dialogue for Taiwan and St. Lucian youth to share their perspectives, insights, and experiences, as well as a farmer's market and a cultural exchange. I am sure this week will be a memorable one for our visiting ambassadors. At this point, I would like to invite the Vice Principal Academics, Dr. Fulgens, to give his welcome address. Thank you, Ms. Lee. I would like to adopt the protocol already established. Okay. Uh, first, let me apologize for the absence of our principal. She's off island at the moment and was unable so the task of welcoming you fell to me. Um, it's kind of serendipitous because the Office of Internationalization and Partnerships actually started speaking with me a few months ago about this forum. So I guess it's fitting that I ended up having to welcome you here. Um, I'd like to welcome you all to Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. When you walk around, you will see that you are on one of the most beautiful campuses that you'd find anywhere in the world. Um, you will see very different buildings, and these buildings are examples of what this place used to be before. It was a place where men settled their differences using guns and gunpowder. This, this place used to be a fort. The French called it Mont Fortune. When they were lucky, and the British, when they controlled it, called it Fort Charlotte. So our campus today is a place that used to be a place of war. 
I think you will find it to be one of the most historic campuses and a very beautiful place. Its beauty, however, hides the past in which men used war to settle disagreements. In that regard, I think it is fitting that the youth forum in which young people of our nations meet to share thoughts and ideas can be exposed to each other's culture is happening on such a campus where a place of war becomes now a place of peace and cultural exchange. We live in a time where information is ubiquitous. Access to that information is available to all who has a device and all who is interested. The difficulty, however, is that in despite having all of this information, most of us know only what we want to know and become exposed to what we want to know because algorithms actually feed us what we want. You go to TikTok, you will get to see only what you want to see. Instagram, only what you want to see. What it means is that even if we have an overflow of information, we only see what we want to see. So it actually makes it even more difficult for us to share because we're only seeing what we want to see from like-minded people. I say, I say this to highlight the importance of the activity in which we're starting this week. This morning, we're starting an activity which is going to take us out of our comfort zone, where we're not going to see what we want to see, but we're going to see what is out there. It's an exchange of culture, exchange of ideas, exchange of world views. Why is it your food looks the way it looks? Why is it you dress the way you dress? Why is it you're interested in a certain type of thing that is different Sorry, from what other people are. What other people are interested in, sorry. This youth forum brings youth from different cultures into contact in a shared space to share culture, thoughts, and ideas. And this, perhaps, is the most effective way of getting people to understand each other. Every single one here today who speaks to someone from a different culture, St. Lucian or Taiwanese, is going to learn something about another person from a different culture. It is the best way for us to interact and move forward with peace. So on behalf of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Board of Governors, staff, principal, and people of St. Lucia in general, I would like to welcome you. Your ambassador just shared with me that you're actually jet lagged. You're on nine o'clock Taiwanese time. <laughs> so I was very I'm happy to see that you were all excited to be here because if I were in your shoes, I'd want to be sleeping in a nice comfortable bed right now. So. Enjoy. Welcome to Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. I hope it's a very pleasant experience for you. Thank you, Dr. Phil Jens, for your warm remark. I would now like to invite the Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, Mr. Peter Chen, to give his remarks. Dr. Winston Forgens, Vice Principal of Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Ms. Constance Wang, Director General of the Department of NGO International Affairs, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan, faculties, students, and Taiwan Youth Ambassadors. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I'm so glad to receive the 40 Youth Ambassadors here in St. Lucia after the last visit in 2015. So today we also witness history, because this is the first time after the pandemic that Youth Ambassador come back to St. Lucia. When the program was launched in 2009 by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of China, Taiwan, it aimed to enhance mutual understanding and expand youth's international perspective and encourage them to explore the world. With the purpose of cultural exchange, St. Louis Community College, the most prestigious educational institute in St. Lucia, is no doubt the best location to open up the one-week visit. Here, I would like to express my gratitude to the support and all arrangements that St. Louis Community College have made to facilitate this visit. Could you join me to put our hand together for St. Louis Community College? <laughs> and I also would like to thank all 40 youth ambassadors led by Director General Wang for flying across the Pacific Ocean to here to promote Taiwan culture and to tell the story of Taiwan and to contribute the bilateral relation between the Taiwan and St. Lucia. I believe 
all the youth ambassador will have an enjoyable and excellent experience, and I wish the exchange program a great success. Thank you. We would like to bring on the, the head of the visiting delegation to address us. Good morning, Dr. Winston Fujins. I hope that I pronounced right. Okay, I think it's easier if we can do it on a first name basis. <laughs> Since we've known each other for quite some time now. <laughs> and uh, good morning. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Constance Wang. Uh, I'm the head of the delegation, and I'm with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Taiwan. Uh, my department, the NGO International Affairs, is responsible for uh, youth empowerment. That's why uh, we are um, ha we have the pleasure to organize such a delegation, and um, it is indeed great excitement for us to be here. I know today uh, is the uh, uh, back to school day, and what a meaningful way to kick off uh, this program. Uh, this is the first day back to school for a new start, new beginning, and also this is the first official visit of our delegation. And on behalf of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the delegation members, I would like to express express our greatest gratitude to everyone, including our embassy, Ambassador Peter Chen and his uh, very capable colleagues, and also our host, um, the uh, Sir Win um, Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, for making this possible. So let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. And as Ms. Lake mentioned, that uh, the delegation members, they went through a very competitive selection process to be here today. And uh, maybe they are from different backgrounds. However, there's one thing, they have one thing in common, which is that they are eager to learn. So that's why we are here today, because they are eager to exchange views with you about the world, about the uh, current affairs, about the future, and um, so please don't hold back and please feel free to exchange your any opinions and uh, please have them inspired. And I think they are also eager to share their stories about our country, about our uh, mutual understanding, about our common values. So uh, we are super excited to be here today. So uh, without no further ado, I would like to pass back the microphone to <laughs> <laughs> to the host, and thank you again so much for having us. And um, uh, the last thing I would like to mention, but not the least, is um, as soon as we land on this beautiful island country, we, we feel the warmth right away. I'm not talking about the weather. <laughs> I'm also talking about the hospitality and the warm welcome that we receive. And for that, we owe you a great uh, gratitude. Thank you so much. My name is Johnny Joseph, head of the Digital Humanities, New Media and Creative Industries Unit. I would like to start by saying, by extending a very warm welcome to all of you, to St. Lucia and to our campus. Within the Digital Humanities um, Unit, we offer associate degrees in digital media and creative and performing arts. The subject of literature is also part of that unit. So um, we have students who are doing literatures in English, and they are doing it within the KIP program, which is what we normally call A-levels. So this morning, we have a few students here with us. Not, they're not, as, uh, not a, a very big group, but we have some students here who are doing creative and performing arts, and we also have uh, students who are doing A-level literature. So the lecturer for, for literatures in English is Ms. Gloria Severin. She's sitting in the back there and trying to look as incognito as possible. And the other lecturer is Ms. Cantilia Louis. Um, she is the lecturer for Creative and Performing Arts. I'm not sure if she's, if she's here yet, but she's the lecturer for that program. So um, with that said, I would um, just like to wish all of you a very meaningful and engaging interaction with our students here today. And I do hope that you enjoy your trip to St. Lucia. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Joseph. The introductions will be done by the program head, Sustainable Tourism and Hospitality, Ms. Diodata Preville.
I would like to um, adopt the protocol already established. Um, my name is Diodata Preville Alfred, and I'm representing the Sustainable Tourism and Hospitality Unit. I would like to introduce you to my staff, my team, the chefs over here, and the staff to the back. And our students are wearing black and white to the back. Okay. Um, our program, uh, we offer associate degrees in accommodations, culinary arts, food and beverage operations, and um, travel and tourism studies. And we also offer bachelor's degree in tourism and hospitality management. We are looking forward to the week-long activity. I know culinary is a huge part of the activity, especially highlighted or will be highlighted on the evening um, um, on Thursday. So we really look forward to meeting with you and I know you will be having lunch with us today. So we actually look forward to all the activities and we'd like to welcome you. Welcome everybody. Thank you, Ms. Preville. At this point in time, we will have some presentation of gifts. Um, the Taiwanese delegation will be making some presentations to Dr. Fulgens, Dr. Mr. Harris, Dr. Joseph, and as well as Dr. Ms. Diodata Preville. So could we have um, Dr. Fulgens? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Wish that's do it. Do this. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Mr. Kurt Harris. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, thank you. We are very glad to be here at, at your college. And here we have a present brought from Taiwan. And we would like to thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Jani Joseph. We are also really happy to be here and we are excited to have some ideas of exchange with all of your students. Thank you. Okay. And our final, the final presentation to Ms. Diodata Preville. Well, once again, we are here to express our gratitude through this present that was brought from Taiwan. So thank you very much. And thank you for all the faculty members and the vice president, the ambassador, and our, and Mr. and Ms. Constance Wang. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the microphone, just one second. 
Thank you for your patience. The reason that um, uh, uh, besides of me presenting the gift, as we found it's also a very uh, rare occasion and very uh, unique experiences if, we, if our delegation members get to present the gifts. So that's why it's a great learning experience for them. And I couldn't help but uh, noticing that the beautiful col wall color matches our t-shirt. <laughs> In case you didn't notice that. Thank you so much. On behalf of the delegation, again, <laughs> we'd like to uh, present a small token of appreciation. On behalf of Dr. Ogi, so I'd like to receive it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're having a presentation on behalf of South Lewis Community College, Dr. Fulgens, a presentation to the ambassador. On behalf of the college, I'd like to present to you with a small token of appreciation for making us the site of your first visit since the COVID-19 um, um, COVID um, pandemic. Thank you, Ambassador. OK. So, so on behalf of South Louis County College, in collaboration with the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, I would like to thank you for your attendance at this ceremony. It is my hope that this activity would encourage lifelong friendships built through this cultural exchange. <laughs>